I got a phone call that um, Seth Rogen and Michelle Gondry were doing The Green Hornet. And those two names separately were, are incredibly interesting to me. But together, I was like, what are you talking about? Uh, those two minds together, to me, just sounded like whatever it was. I didn't care what, if it was Green Hornet. I didn't care what it was. It was something that just really you know, perked up my ears. He doesn't have superpowers. That's what I love about it. He's just an, a, a normal man who, um, who just has uh, a lot of resources and a great sidekick who actually uh, happens to kick ass. So <laughs> uh, he's, he, that's his super. That's his superpower. He doesn't have superhuman strength. He's just a, a regular guy who um, you know is just resourceful and and gets in with his uh, sidekick Cato, who is even more resourceful. And uh, you know they they fight crime. Lenore is smarter than the both of them put together, um, and uh, they don't really know what they're doing. They have no idea. Britt doesn't have any idea how to run a newspaper. Lenore, ha you know, is passionate about journalism. Um, they have no idea what uh, the criminal, how the criminal mind works. Lenore is you know obsessed with criminology and forensics, and so she she knows these things. She studied it. And so she, without her knowing it, unbeknownst to her, they're using her is probably the only thing that's, that's halfway intelligent that they do, <laughs> is that they use her knowledge to sort of plan how they're going to uh, uh, participate in their criminal activity. <laughs> you know, he's always laughing. He's always laughing. You can hear, you know where he's at because wherever he's at, laughter is coming from there. And it just comes from such a wonderful place, a deep, beautiful, loving, fun, easygoing place. And he's just really special. You know, he figures out a way to make everything fun and funny.